Hi, I'm Luigi, I'm a student at UFMG, and today we're going to see how you can use a programming language Idris to prove theorems. So I selected two examples from the DCC AAA class, about 12, that is taught by Fernando at UFMG, and we're going to use these two examples, and he write them in Idris. So here's the link for the original slide, about 12, uh, if you want to take a look. So for our first example, we're going to talk about even numbers. So first, let, let us define natural numbers. We are going to use uh, Piano's notation for natural numbers. So 0 is a natural number, and if n is a natural number, then the success of n is a natural number as well. And we can, we can represent the type of natural numbers in Idris as follows. If you are familiar, familiar with Haskell, the syntax is quite similar. But there is another way to define the data types in Idris, which is the following, in which we explicitly show the types of the constructors and the, and the data type. So we have the constructor Z, which, is, which has type net, and we have the constructor S, which, has, which is a function from net to net. And our first example, as I said, will be about even numbers. So let's first define what are even numbers. Uh, we have a data type even that takes a natural number and returns a type. This is, this is a, a de dependent type because it depends on a natural number, on a value. And the base case is 0 is even, so we have the constructor even z. And this, the inductive case is if n is even, then the successor of the successor of n is even. And for that, we have the constructor even s, which takes even n and returns even of s of s of n. And the first theorem that we're going to prove is that if m and n are even numbers, then m plus n is even as well. And the proof for that is quite simple. We're going to apply induction on m. So if m is 0, then m plus n is n, and n is even by, by, uh, by the hypothesis. So m plus n is even. And the inductive case is when m is the successor of the successor of m prime and we apply induction on m prime plus n to show that m prime m prime plus n is even and but you know that m plus n is this, the same as the successor of the successor of m prime plus n which is basically the inductive de definition of even numbers so we can conclude from that that m plus n is even so before i show how we implement this in, in Idris. Let me first talk about the curry howard uh, correspondence, which is basically the theory behind proofs in, in Idris. So the curry howard correspondence says that there is a correspondence between propositions and types and proofs and programs. So if, if we want to prove uh, that A implies B given a context gamma, we assume A and we prove B. But what the curry howard correspondence says is that this is equivalent as uh, having a function from A to B and showing and constructing to, uh, a, an expression or a term of type B. So the, the proposition is the type of the function and the proof is uh, we, we prove the proposition by constructing some of something of type B. So back to our example we have the, the function sun evens and we use the total keyword here because we need to guarantee that this function is defined over all possible inputs and this function is guaranteed to terminate and we have we take an even m and even n and we need uh, to what we want to prove is that even m plus n so the, the base case is when m is zero and for that we have the constructor even z so we just return even n and the inductive case is when we, uh, we have, uh, we apply induction on uh, even m prime and even n. So we're basically showing here that m prime plus n is even, and we use the constructor even s to show that the successor of the successor of m prime plus n is even. So that's pretty much it for this theorem. The second example is about program equivalence. And we're going to define a tiny language with booleans, so our, our language has values true and false. And we have the following terms. We have a constant, we have not term, and we have an if then else. And we're going to define an evolve function to evaluate terms in our language. So the first case is, when, uh, is for not true, so when t reduces to true, we have to not t 
t is false and here we are using this with clause which basically says we want to evaluate this intermediate value if eval t and when eval t is true then eval not t is false so for the second case it's the opposite when eval t is false eval not t is true and for the if when c reduces to true so when eval c is true the result is the evaluation of t1 and for the if else we have that when eval c is false the result is the evaluation of t2 and the last case is when we have a constant value v when we just return v and what we want to prove is that the following terms are equivalent if c t1 t2 and if not c t2 t1 and the proof uh, uh, is the following for the first case we we'll have c reducing to true and consequently not c reduces to false and the two terms reduces to view to the evaluation of t1 and the second case is basically the opposite we have c reducing to false not c reduces to true and both uh, terms reduces to the evaluation of t2 and to prove that we are going to use equivalence so in idris uh, equality is defined as this type equal which has one constructor ref which stands for reflexivity uh, and we can use this to, sh to, to show propositional equality so we can define a function 1 plus 1 equals 2 to show that 1 plus 1 is equal to true so what, what happens is, is here is that 1 plus 1 uh, is normalized to true so here we have 2 equals 2 x equals x and although this second type here 1 plus 2 equals 2 is valid we cannot prove it because it does not type check because 1 plus 2 normalizes to 3 so we have a mismatch between 2 and 3 and this is basically how we're going to pr prove our Ethereum we're going to use this roughly constructor so we have the function if commutes we want to prove that eval if c to 1 to 2 is equal to eval if not c to 2 to 1 and in, in our case here, uh, Idris cannot uh, normalize these two sides right away. So we need to break in two, two cases, which are the two cases that we have already seen when C evaluates to true and when C evaluates to false. And what we're basically saying here is that we're going to use C in our, in our proof. So we have the first case when eval C is true and the second case when eval C is false and that's pretty much it for this proof so here are the references the first reference is the original slide from and this is this is it triple class and the documentation of idris 2 thank you